What a nightmare. I mean, it's still fun. If you just, like, breeze through every chapter, it's not as you, fun. Do you also... Professor, I am so glad that you are unharmed. What if something had happened to you? Do I also what? Do you also feel the need when something annoys you into a, in a game that you like to make sure that you say afterward, like, still a good time, though, like, still having fun? <laughs> because otherwise viewers are just like, man, you hate this game now, huh? Like, what, you think well... this is the worst game ever because you had one annoying... And I'm like, no, you idiot. Yeah, to an extent. I, I feel like um, I like to clarify when the difference between, like, uh, something being, like, bad or poorly designed versus something that I don't like versus, hey, that was really hard and I was frustrated, but I, at, like, after accomplishing it, I still had a really good time because that's the stuff that happened with me in, like, Elden Ring a lot where, like, I would, like, rage and then, like, when I finally, everything clicked and then, I, you know, I would beat something, I'm like, you know what? That was actually a lot of fun. The process of figuring that out and going through it was fun even if I got mad sometimes. But then there was other times where it's like, okay, that was stupid. And so there, I have to make a distinction between what I think is, like, actually bad versus what is just me being frustrated but actually enjoying the process. Yeah, um, I have the exact same thing. Yeah. But I feel like, especially in more recent years, anytime I run into something in a game, even if it's where I'm like, I think this was just actively bad, I then have to clarify after, like, I still love the game, by the way. Like, in Tales of Zillia, it's my favorite game of all time. They had a really... They have two different versions of the main story, and I finally did the second version of the main story. Mm -hmm. And in the second version, you have a really annoying 1v1 fight that is just, like, atrocious. The game would be better if it wasn't there. Yeah. But I got through it, and then I was like, that sucked. But just to be clear, this is still my favorite game of all time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. That, that one annoying, like... 30 minute fight did not change my opinion of this 50 hour JRPG that has been my favorite game for like six years. Yeah, I mean, there's no game that is like objectively perfect 100% of the time. Like every exactly. single game, even like all of my favorite games, there, there's like one little part or a couple things here and there where it's just like, yeah, the game could have been fine without that, but like that's not enough to detract from. If only Dimitri had a better haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, in this playthrough, I actually think there's, like, a few things in Three Houses that I'm, I'm noticing more where I'm just like, man, I, I went into this, I'm like, maybe this is my favorite game of all time, and now I'm just like, I don't I don't think this is going to end up being my favorite game of all time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this the is... the chaos effect. <laughs> I know. This is still this is still probably going to remain my favorite Fire Emblem game, though. I find that hard to change. Isn't your favorite game of all time Bloodborne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, after playing through it multiple times, I mean, that just solidifies it every time, where I'm just like, yep, still hey, That's still what I up, had with great. Tales of Zillia. Even when I got to that really annoying part, I, like... When I finished the game and I had those final cutscenes, I was like, yeah, this is still, like, my most favorite video game of all time. Like, I, I can't wait to play it again. And I just finished playing it for 40 hours. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love when, when that happens. Um, all right. I'm going to let them talk for a little bit. Your Highness, our instructor is safe. We should return to the monastery at once. Yes, I suppose you are right. If we stay here much longer, we are sure to be reprimanded. It is not untrue to assert that our professor led us here for battle experience. To do, you surprise me. And you, professor. I hope you will tell us what brought you here. It's not just that it's... I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> oh, just a spot of bother. <laughs> it's, it's not just that the hairstyle looks dumb, but also that it just looks so impractical. Like, he has to do something ridiculous to make his hair look that stupid. Like, yeah. you don't just wake up, like, that's not even, like, a bed, like, it's yeah. not bedhead or yeah, anything yeah, yeah. like that. He doesn't wake up looking like that spaghetti monstrosity. He makes sure that his hair looks that way every day. Yeah, he has that's to. intentional. Um, although, I mean, we're talking, like, hair and practicality. I feel like JRPGs in general is probably not the, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of examples where you're just like, that hair has to take well, so much no, time for no like, reason. Well, no, but, like, if you, if their hair looks impractical, but it looks cool, then you're like, that's yeah, fair, whatever, anime, it's awesome. But when your hair looks, like, absolute... <laughs> garbage <laughs> and it's also impractical you're like why would you go out of your way to like rely on my suspension of disbelief for how hair works just to make it look bad that's you know a good point I, yeah fair enough <laughs> we are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us you very nearly met your end you know <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned I even tried to start my sentence on the tail end of hers to catch you before you hit A. Oh, uh, dude, I'm, I'm on top of my game. I'm hitting A like the the, the exact frame. To say, the frame that that sentence is, is over, it's like it's on to the next. It's on to the next sentence. This guy, <laughs> man. Um, 
Now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I um, can't believe you've done this. Oh, I was going to say, we're talking about the impracticality of, like, how hair looks and all that and, like, JRPGs and anime. Like, have you seen the hair colors? <laughs> like, yeah, hair colors is, like, yeah. All the things to complain about. Most of them, they're, they're not natural their hair natural colors. natural light blue hair. <laughs> right. <laughs> dark purple, etc. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm proud of us. Hmm. You seem more confident in your You're ability proud of to teach. Sophie. You sure? <laughs> sure, why not? But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. Huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. I found something. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. I don't remember what that thing is. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? The thing is a gun. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, I don't know what I, I found. The ray in the cathedral. <laughs> Take out your. All right, so we have Take another. Take out your Glock, like it's <laughs> over, right? Uh, and fun, fun thing about this. If this is what I think it is, I also think this is really hard <laughs> by my standards. So we'll see how this goes. This is the one I think it is. There you are. I have a request for you. A request? For me? It has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. That was like three months ago. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Why would you want us to help? Because you wield the Sword of the Creator. Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. This church does a lot of executions. Her. Right. So what do you say? Will you come? Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. He made a frame so fast. How did he get here without the rest of the Blue Lions behind? <laughs> he was all running. No, they're they're hey, they're right off screen. They're about ready to. It's... Sorry. I was gonna say they're right off screen. They're about ready to step forward all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they always? Did you watch Codename Kids Next Door at all when you were younger? Not really. I think, it was a little after I, I, think I might have caught like an episode, but yeah, it was kind of after my time. Do you time, remember the delightful children from down the lane? No. Okay, well, people who do know it will appreciate, like, the Blue Lions house, and pretty much any house in this is just, like, the Delightful Children chat, where, like, they're all constantly in a small group, and if you try to pull them apart, they naturally gravitate back together. <laughs> Other people will get that reference. Yeah, That's yeah. for your younger viewers. Yeah, yeah, Um, I'm, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure at least half of my viewers for this series are probably your viewers as well, so somebody, somebody will know, uh, will get what you're talking about. Ash. You were listening in. It's not up to you whether you can come along. Wait a minute. Please. Yeah. This is important to me. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I think we're going to make the same in. point. This is a public space we're standing in. Oh. Like. I was going to say, I thought um she was just saying about us getting our students together to come with. And then Ash comes running in, who is one of our students. And then she's like, well, actually, not you. But like, <laughs> was he not already included? You, moron. <laughs> I, that's probably included because I think you... This might be tied more to Catherine, so you might get this even if Ash isn't on your team, but I, I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure. I mean, it's, um, I'm pretty sure the way the paralogs work is when it shows the character at the bottom, you only have to have one of them. So yeah. if you recruit Catherine in any other route, you would get to do this. Yeah, but I think Ash might be a force to pull even if he's not on your team. I don't remember. Kind of like how Dorothy is. They're all, they yeah. always are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's how if, it is. Whoever is a part of the paralog is a force to pull. They do it with Seteth in Church. a minute on, uh, Flane and Seteth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That too. I understand that you want answers, but our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I'm pretty sure you I would be doing this away. even if you didn't have Catherine. I promise. So. Yeah. yeah. I actually just made this easier for myself. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. Uh, we'll go. 
Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready then. Alright. You know what paralogue I just remembered that I think I really hated that was annoying? What's that? As you were talking about like this one being difficult or whatever? Mary Ann's. Oh, yep. Absolutely. Mary Ann sucks. Yeah. I remember us. I think it was the only thing that gave us any trouble in our Golden Deer run. That yeah, we did that was hard. And um, this is this has a similar issue, but I think this has less monsters. Joy. I don't but it has think the, um, I've ever done this one. Have I ever recruited? I definitely have never recruited Catherine. I don't think I've ever recruited Ash. Then, yeah, this will be brand new. Uh, oh, this I, is the thing that gives you the plus one movement, though, at the end, right? Yeah, this is this is a, a Fog of War map where you have to protect Rhea, and you don't know, like, oh, this how many awful. enemies are coming from, like, each side. Is this, so. like, the third map out of 50 in this game that uses <laughs> Fog? <laughs> yes. Um, Happy, you are not being brought above Ingrid. Sorry. It, actually, what, what maps use Fog other than this one and the main story one? Three houses. What maps <laughs> have fog there's not many because there's literally an item like torch or whatever specifically for this situation right yes i think i could buy one actually like i could go into things right now i just saw a screenshot for what the fog thing looks like in engage and in engage instead oh, of fog, yeah. they just use the void it's just like black yeah yeah, yeah. that's stupid yeah, uh, it's, yeah, the fog and engage is not good. That one's also where, like, they use it for, like, two maps. Maybe three. They don't use that much. Uh, and when they do, it's not, it's not the best. Uh, all right. Is there anywhere and I can in. find that tells me the maps? Let's I'm only finding in. things that tells me, like, units' visions depending on games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could go right into here. Yeah, I could buy torches if I want. Um, I probably won't, and then I'll complain about not being able to see. But, you know, fight me. I'm gonna sell some of my broke, like, I don't need this iron sword with one use. Thanks a bunch. Um, you have enough. Sell this iron axe with one use. Thanks a bunch. Um... Okay, don't need these iron gauntlets. The Thanks a bunch. I forgot. Were we? Was I gonna look into um making like a magic bow? Is that like you have to be B plus professor rank? B plus professor rank. Okay, I was like, I didn't remember how that works. I can make a B a plus Venom professor bow? rank. Um, some kind of material. I think it's the arcane crystal. Arcane? I, yeah, I remember yeah, the arcane, arcane crystal, 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 which I know Two I arcane have. Arcane crystals B plus and then a steel bow plus. I think. Steel boat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? Oh, I can't even look at my options. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That sounds right. Come back soon. All right. Um. It's the battle maps in Fire Emblem Three Houses. All right, here we go. Does my formation? It's the name matter? of the general map. It doesn't tell me the actual like fights and stuff. I have a vague recollection of more enemies coming from the left and right. I'm just so scared to put Annette anywhere. You know, there are I feel only like... 13 maps in this game. What? Like, total? That can't be right. Generic maps. Oh, the generic one. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Named map locations. 1, 2, 3. Wow. Uh, I, I can see it. Okay. That's crazy. Um, all right, I'm gonna hit fight, so they might have a couple lines of dialogue. I defend Rhea for ten turns, or I can beat all the enemies. There she is, a sneaky little witch trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy, Archbishop Rhea. I'll bring judgment upon you in the goddess's stead. You're using the fog as cover to ambush us. What a cheap ploy! It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. Okay, no, 13. We are up against a faction of bishops. They've shown themselves at least, so we won't Gosh. have to go to the trouble of finding them. I don't know if there's any noise coming through on my end, but I think they're doing some work on like the upstairs apartment and like. <laughs> I haven't heard anything from okay. your end. I, I thought I saw the, the, the volume of the mic go up, but I, it might get drowned out by the 
the audio, Probably. or it might just be so background that it's not coming through. Right. Okay. You got a death wish? Come at me. You yeah, really let... want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? All right, cool. Now you're good. I think. Nope, Thirteen just battle map. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> mission isn't just to wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? Can yes. we stab Rhea and Catherine, please? That'd be nice. Just make a circle around Rhea and hit in turn ten times, honestly. I, I actually think that... Oh, no, Rhea doesn't move. I thought she might. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I could do that. Um, That'd be really dumb. Here goes. There are 13 battle maps. Paralogue maps and campaign maps are separate. Okay. Come I'm just gonna do it. something like... Mm. That'll be fine. Here Nobody's go. gonna squeeze through the middle there. Oh, there's something like this. Perfect. Me? Let them come to me. I think there is some sort of reward. There might be like a chest or something. Out of the way. Oh, there's Pegasus Knights. That's why this one sucks. It's it's fog plus Pegasus Knights. Amazing. Wow. When magic is only doing 10 damage to the do. A good sign. Yeah, I think there is some sort of reward to going out into the fog. Like, I think there might be like a chest or like, oh, like this enemy, like I drops a torch. Oh, I specifically said I wasn't gonna buy what a torch. How dare you force one upon me? Okay, I can't find anything that Luck says how good. many maps have fog. So as far as I'm concerned, there are literally two of them: this one and then the story <laughs> one. Um, but I did find someone who did all of the math without using the DLC of Cindered Shadows. Three Houses has 36 maps that are used between lose. 98 story chapters and paralogues. Wow. How about that? Crush them all. Oops. Go in here. That works for me. Can't hold me back. Apparently, there are six specific maps that are only used once. Okay. The better Interesting. If that are, like, paralog maps or something, or...? Uh, do you want me to tell you them? Yeah, I don't care. I've played the game. That <laughs> is true. Um, <laughs> as as you don't believe me. Chapter 17 of Crimson Flower, the Taeltian Plains, where you fight Dimitri, is that map is exclusive to Chapter 17 of Crimson Flower. Ah. Uh, the Caledonian Plateau, which is the final chapter of Verdant Wind, where Claude fights, uh, Claude and Golden Deer fight, uh, the revived Oh, yeah. People. That makes sense, yeah. Rhodos Coast, which is set up in Flames Paralog, that beach one. Oh, that never, that never gets used? I? That's, that's what this Reddit post says. I thought there was one Ready. other time they used that map, but maybe I'm wrong. Not according to this Reddit post. Okay. And this Reddit post has a lot of... It's like, it's a good-looking Reddit post. Okay. All right. Lake Tuatates, whatever that is, yeah. which is where Leone and Linhart have a paralogue together. The name sounds familiar. I can't picture it in my mind. I don't think I've ever done Leone and Linhart's paralogue, so I just don't know. Uh, Empire Territory, quotation marks, which is only used for Ferdinand and Lysithia's paralogue. Okay. I don't remember that one either. It says that it oh, you know what you might be thinking of is that this person is only counting um, paralogs and chapters. Okay. It could be used so as an auxiliary battle thing. It could be used as a random fight location, potentially, because this one specifically says that this Ferdinand Lysithia paralog comes up in random skirmishes. Okay. So maybe that's it. And then the last one is the Sreng region, which is the desert map for Claude's paralog. I remember us doing that in Verdant Wind in our playthrough. Yeah, I can't... Oh! I'm picturing a map. I don't know if it's the right one that I'm thinking of. I can remember it because it's a giant desert and there's, like, a dragon in it. Mm, if Mercedes takes one more hit, she does. Will she take another hit? I don't know. Who could tell? Okay. We're safe for now. Thankfully, Rhea is not, like, a, you know... She's not made of glass. She can take some hits, which is good, because I'm going to need her to. Ah, thanks for healing me. Alright, let's hide it up back here. There we go. Oh, 
I'm gonna try and get as many characters to level 20 and their class mastery as I can. Oh wow, apparently Fire Emblem Fates has 81 unique maps. Wow. Had to be done. I still need to play Fates. It wasn't very good. That's the general consensus. Well, kind of. I feel like Fire Emblem's weird was just like, as with most things, as more time goes away from it, the more you see people being like, actually, this game was underrated. Uh, so I don't, I don't even know what the general. That's a phenomenon anymore. that happens, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not like done any research or thought into what I'm about to say, really. But but people say that about Pokemon a lot. Yeah, yep, and, yep, yep. And some other things as well. I'm gonna be honest with you, I I think what it is is that when the game comes out and people play it and form their opinions, the people who say, yeah, that game sucked, then never go back to it or play it again. Yeah, But the people who didn't think it was bad stay on it, and those are the people who four years later say, like, actually, it was underrated, because now, since all the people who didn't like it haven't played it in four years, they don't have a vocal opposition to say otherwise. Mm -hmm. So you get, like, a false positive, where it seems like, oh, well, now whenever I see people talk about it, they talk good about it. Yeah, because the people who talked bad about it haven't played it in five years because it was bad. Yeah, that, uh, you know, you might be onto something there. <laughs> That's be. not to say that it's impossible that a game was treated poorly upon release, but then later on, opinion actually did sway on it a bit more than you would expect. Like, yeah. it can happen. Yeah, like, I've but had that happen to me as well. I'll yeah, I think I've had it happen before where I've gone back to a game, uh, and I, I have a perfect example. I was going to say, I, I have an example of the cold. Oh, God. I, I played Shadow of the Colossus, and I thought, like, yeah, it was... I didn't hate it, but I didn't right. think it was, like, great or anything. Then I played it again, and I was like, oh, wow, this is, like, one of only three games in my life I've played where it actually gets better each subsequent time I play it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's that's no. a good example. Because yeah, you you, example? you had actually uh, said Pokemon. I was like, I my opinion on, on Pokemon Sun and Moon has softened over the years. I, like, went back to play that, and I was like, you know, it's not my favorite, but I was like, it's not nearly as bad as I, I thought it was the, the first time I played it. Mm, I can see that. But I definitely, Pokemon is one of the most grievous offenders of it, but I've seen oh, yeah. it in other franchises too. So as soon as you mentioned it, I was, I, I thought like, I've thought about this before and I'm pretty sure I know why it happens, but I don't have any like empirical data to give you. It's just my own, it's just my feel of the vibes and my own like thoughts basically. But it, I mean, it makes logical sense that like, oh, actually this was an underrated gym or whatever. And you see a bunch of people agree and all, and I'm like, well, yeah, because the people who played it when it came out and said it was garbage aren't gonna, like, they're not still playing it and say still saying it's garbage. They moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only people who are still gonna be talking about, like, people who played Three Houses back in 2017 when it came out? Was it 17? I think it was 18. Was it 18? It was 17 or 18. I know it wasn't 16 because that was like the Switch launch year and it yeah. wasn't a launch year title. Yeah, I think it was 18. But like people, people who played Three Houses when it came out back in like 17 or 18 are not playing it again in 2023 and being like, oh, it's an underrated gym. People who thought it was bad back in 2018, they're not picking it up again five years later to like continue the discourse. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not to say that there, I mean, there are surely some people who, like, played a game five years ago, didn't like it, and they're like, oh, I'm going to give this one another shot. And then they ended up liking it, or they still ended up hating it. I've done that before mm -hmm. with um, Digimon World 4. Yeah, or there's people Where... that play it for the first time, and then, you know, will be like, oh, what's, you know, what's the opinion? It's like, I actually just played this, and, and I don't like it, or I do like it, you know. Yeah. Things like that But any happen. Anytime I see, like, oh, this game was underrated where it came out, but now people like it and all, oh, I gosh. take it with of... Oh my word. <laughs> Fog is fun. Okay. I wanna I wanna learn. Cause I decided to be like, you know what, I am gonna send people out there and just see what happens. And I think every direction is safe except for to the right where all the Pegasus Knights are. Yeah, okay. 